guys, it's Brittany here back with another video. I know, I know, like I always say in every intro, it's been a minute, but y'all, I just been, I don't know, I just been doing things. So, <laughs> with that being said, I just wanted to update y'all. Um, sorry, it's been a week or two before I posted a video because I know we're some of us were in the same pregnancy range, some of us going through the same thing, and I know y'all just want to know what's really going on. So, um, Everything is good. Everything is still the same. Um, my last appointment was at 22 weeks. And I had, which I thought I was going to have two more cervical lymph checks, but I only had one more. They're not going to check my cervix any longer the rest of this pregnancy um, until they do another growth scan around like 30 something weeks or something like that. So um, when they checked my cervix last week, it was a 4.04, y'all. And if you remember my last video, it was a 3.4. And um, I, they basically said I have a dynamic cervix, which means it can change at any time. Like right now, it could be sitting at a 3.2, and then tomorrow it can go up to a 3.7. So it just changes. You never know. Um, I still take it easy. I'm I'm not on bed rest, um, but I'm still on the um, vaginal um, progesterone um, which I um, really 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 believe is like really has a good impact on my pregnancy sorry y'all okay yeah so I really think the progesterone is doing a really good job on making my cervix stronger or oh, whatnot um, I still use these um, I do not insert the um, progesterone by hand I feel like you can um, get more have a better chance of getting an infection that way um, although you're supposed to wash your hands and insert the um, the progesterone as high up to the surface as you can. I feel like by using these, you have um, a low risk of getting infection and it's just super easy. This makes my life so easy. <laughs> like all I do is like literally, let me see if I have one open. Ah, the last boat. Um, yeah, here's one. So basically... So basically, this is one open. You just pop the pill in right here. And then you just push it as high up to the surface as you can. So that makes it super easy. And if you're wondering where you can get these from, you can get these off Amazon. This is a pack of 30. And this was like $17.99, something like that. Um, I'll try to put the link below if you're interested in um, purchasing these. But if you're on vaginal progesterone, these are like super easy and then just pushing the pill up. Um, I believe they get they get it higher up to your cervix too. Um, so yeah, I'm still on progesterone. Um, not on bed rest. I do, did put myself on modified bed rest even though um, I wasn't told to be on any type of bed rest. I still take it easy. When I don't have anything to do, I'm laying down. I'm, like I'm not playing. <laughs> like I'm not playing around with this uh, incompetent cervix stuff. So um what else? Um, uh, today I am 23 weeks and three days and I am four days away from viability and I couldn't be any more grateful. I couldn't be any more happy. I feel like a weight is being lifted off my shoulders knowing that if anything happens to a baby boy that they can do anything or try to do all they can to save him. So, um, those that's pregnant like with me i think some of y'all are like right behind me like yay we're making it like we're like time is like flying by now like i remember when i was like i remember if you remember my video that i didn't even like have it was just the yolk sack i didn't even have a fetal pole and then it was to the point that he just had like little like time is flying like it's crazy but Everything is good. How I've been feeling, I've been craving a lot, a lot, a lot of fruit. I have gained um, four pounds since I gained four pounds in two weeks. So from the last video to this video, I've gained like four pounds. Um, I've been craving especially watermelon. He loves watermelon. When I eat watermelon, he goes crazy. Um, what else? I love strawberries, um, bananas. Y'all know, y'all see me eat bananas like all the time. I love bananas. Um, but other than that, uh, I haven't been eating the best. Um, I need to cut back on the fast food because I have no lie been eating fast food, especially chicken nuggets. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, far as like what I've been eating, and um, I've been 
losing breath <laughs> like shortness of breath like it's crazy i don't know why oh y'all let me tell you the other day i woke up and like my hands were like swollen and then like they were like this and like i had to pop it back in. i don't know why my hands were swollen i don't know it was just crazy um but yeah, I'm just rambling. Nothing else has really happened. Like I said, um, no more cerv cervical length checks. Um, my next appointment is next week, um, March 5th. And um, I don't even know what I'm doing that appointment. Because they didn't tell me anything. But I know I'm coming up on my glucose, um, glucose thing, whatever they do. The check for diabetes. Um, I know I'm coming up on that. So, um... What else? What else? What else? Um, I'm no longer on antibiotics. Um, so I think they're going to check to make sure the infections are gone, um, which was a U UTI, my last um, update with y'all. So hopefully that's gone. Um, what else? Y'all need to start writing this down so I don't have to keep going all over the place. Um, what else? Y'all have bought a lot of stuff, like as far as clothes. I bought a lot of clothes for him. But, um, yeah, if y'all watched my, um, what was it? The, um, nursery, when I was trying to get the nursery, y'all would have seen that my closet was a hot mess. Um, we did start cleaning out that closet. Oh, let me show y'all bump. This is the bump. If y'all can see. Baby bump. Um, but we did start cleaning out the closet. See if I can so now I just gotta paint this closet. We took out all the boxes or whatever. Yeah, I got a brand new, a brand new Mac computer that was like fifteen hundred dollars, probably more, and like it's still in the box. Brand new, haven't used it. But yeah, I gotta find somewhere to put that. Um, here's all the clothes I've been buying, baby. And here's some other stuff, some other clothes. Y'all look at the little pants. These little pants are so cute. These are newborn. And I got these from Carter's. And some shirts. Hanging with mom and dad. I love this shirt. And, um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. Some bibs. And I gotta buy a dresser. That's why this stuff is still in the box. Some more onesies, but... Let me know in the comments if y'all already had a baby before. Um, like, what sizes should I focus on buying? Because some people told me, do not buy a lot of newborn because they grow out of it quick. But I'm like, I'm going to need some newborn or should I get zero to three months? So let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. I know this was super short, but nothing really has changed. I'm just growing and I'm out of breath and I'm about to relax and eat some strawberries. So... <laughs> Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.